Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the bench press arch. Do you need to worry about it? Before I get into that topic guys, I encourage you to stick around to the end of this video. Find out how you can reach me with your questions and or comments. So one of the common questions I get, one of the common questions you also read on forums is do I need a bench press arch? The guys will see these power lifters with these huge back arches and the debate begins, do you need an arch at all for the muscle building process? Well, if you're just looking to build muscle, obviously you're, you don't need an extreme arch. An extreme arch is something that is beneficial for the power lifter because it'll reduce range of motion, um, might even improve leverage for them, and so on and so forth. So you don't need an extreme arch. With that said, you do need to use proper setup. And proper setup, proper bench press setup, it will help you reduce strains and pains on your shoulders. Um, it'll increase stability, which will increase the amount of strength you build. It'll reduce the risk of injury, and it'll help to uh, increase the rate at which you build muscle. This optimization or this increasing of muscle you know, might only be by a minimal percentage, but optimal is still optimal. And the benefits you get from a proper bench press setup will really help your shoulders over the long run. A lot of the younger lifters or less experienced lifters will discount, you know, the, the need to set up properly. They'll say, well, I, ba I bench this way or that way and it's not hurting me. But most of the guys I know who have benched for a very long period of time know the value of saving your shoulders over the long run. So therefore, I want you really to take what I'm about to say and uh, you know, take it into consideration, take it to heart. When you set up for the bench press, you want to create a tight back. You want to scrunch up your shoulder blades together. You want to create a tight, tight back platform. This will provide stability and it also helps save your shoulders a little bit. So you want to you want to create a tight back platform. You don't just want to bench with your shoulders loose. You want to pull your shoulder blades back, create some stability, create some back tightness. That tightness will help with your reps. It'll help create more consistent rep work and that'll help reduce some of the risk of you know, possible injuries or future injuries and strains. Um, with your back tight, you also want to concentrate on driving your hips towards your lats. So you'll, um, if this is your shoulder and you got the good back set up, you want to focus on just pushing your hips towards your back. This doesn't have to be extreme, but this, this mental cue of pushing your hips towards your back will help keep your lower back tight as well. So you have your upper back tight by creating that platform and then you'll be, con you'll be concentrating on pushing your hips towards your back. This will help create some lower back tightness as well, and which will also help you create uh, some tightness and stability in your legs. So this combination of having a tight upper back and focusing on pushing your hips towards your lats, that'll create a tight lower back. This upper lower back tightness combination will create a slight arch. You don't really need to worry about how extreme your arch is. That's not going to be beneficial for the muscle building process. But you do want to worry about that upper back tightness and pushing those hips towards your, your lats. That'll create a lower back tightness. That back platform is what you want for benching, for all benching, regardless of your goals. It doesn't matter how extreme that arch is, you just want to get that tightness. So guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, there's a link below to a Q&A. Come on over, ask me any questions you want on strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, supplementation, or motivation. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.